to the honorable members of the Provincial Congress of New York. This is a petition of myself, Joseph Bartlett, and Joseph Collins of the County of New York. Most humbly we show that slaves should be freed. I was born into slavery, doing chores with my mother for her master. I learned how to cook, clean, and especially how to bake. I worked for a baker later on, doing manual labor, real slaves work. I was sold as an adult to Master Livingston and his family. The Livingston family is not always around to order me or give me chores. So I began making a baking business, selling cheap goods for extra money to poor laborers. This allowed me to explore the city more. Hearing talk about liberty and freedom around the town made me want freedom too. Why must I be considered another man's property? I believe men who are enslaved deserve the same rights as any other man. John Locke has the perfect model for liberty. This includes a state of nature where no one person can rule over another. This may seem chaotic, but no chaos can come of it because it requires respect of each person's state of nature. Everyone should have the same natural rights. Right to property and protecting it. This includes owning yourself and yields from any work that you do. Ironically, slaves give everything they have to their master, including themselves. Everyone deserves a right to liberty. This means no one can become enslaved. The only ruler of man is natural law. All Locke's views discredit slavery. England has already taken Locke's views into consideration. During the 1772 Somerset decision, all English slaves were freed. The English government realized slavery did not align with English law. God also opposes slavery. Religious folk are freeing their slaves and becoming abolitionists each day now. Anthony Benazet, a French Quaker, an abolitionist. He says that slavery can't coexist with Christian ideals. He educates blacks and women in Pennsylvania. John Woolman, another religious man. He's a traveling abolitionist. In his younger years, working as a document clerk, he refused to add slave to add a slave to a man's will. Instead, that slave was freed when the man died. He uses his persuasion skills to free slaves all across Virginia, Maryland, and North Carolina on mission trips. He also writes pamphlets to advocate for blacks. As good Christians, we should follow both of these men and their leads. Slaves are also willing to fight for their colony in exchange for freedom. We want the best for our colonies and want to help out. Joseph Collins will be speaking more on this later on. We, but long story short, we can do more for the colonies than just manual labor for the greedy. Your petitioners therefore most humbly pray that the Congress see why it is essential to make those held in slavery in New York forever free.